Hi, I'm Andy. And I'm Ziara. I'm a New York City police officer. And I'm a project administrator. And we're in our home in Woodhaven, Queens. The family, well, we'll start, I have my wife, uh, Ziara. Well, she's my high school sweetheart. He was stalking me. Yeah, I had to pretty much say, okay, we'll go on a date. Actually, went to the prom. She asked to the, me to the yes, prom, Yes, I by asked the way. him to the prom. Yeah, right. yeah, so that was our first date, the prom. We've been together since. She greets me with a big hug and kiss, which I love. Catherine is the smallest. She's one. She loves to snuggle. She's really sweet. Give me one on top. You know, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm taller. No, I'm taller. Olivia, who's five, going on 15. She is a firecracker. No, not like that. <laughs> I mean, like, color like this. And we have my sister, Nati, who's 16. A lot of women. Yeah, that's okay. I'm the king of the house. I like that. Time for your checkup. Time for your checkup. Andy is very dedicated and committed to his family, hard worker, is probably like a model in YPD, very nurturing and loves to help people out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. You know, the only time you think about the police is if, God forbid, something awful's happened and you need their help. But they are there, day in, day out, protecting and serving us and keeping our community safe. And sometimes even the police need a little help. So let's go let Andy and his family know they're being rescued. We've been living in this house for about two years, and what I mostly love about it is that it's mine. We decided on doing a fixer-upper. He thought he can take on those tasks mm -hmm. when we bought the house. Um, not true. My challenge is fixing everything she wants me to fix when she wants me to fix it. So the challenge is managing the time to get stuff done. I think there's a door somewhere I still need to paint. Door one? You gotta paint like got four a few, doors. A few doors I gotta paint. Because of Andy's schedule and my schedule, we're, we have pretty demanding jobs. It's not easy uh, keeping it all together. We have Nati who helps us out a lot. She helps us with the girls. She helps with the household chores. She would stay with the girls whenever we have to work late. I think with the growing family, we're kind of stepping over each other. When Nanti agreed to come with us, we had always promised her she'd have some space. And we thought we could fix that basement up. Yeah. Well, at least I did, so. We use the basement as storage now, and we have two laundry machines down there, and Nanti and Andy use the basement. We have a little space where we can go and study. Do you have to go to the basement homework? <laughs> the basement homework? I gotta do my, my homework in the basement, yes. Nati doesn't like to go in the basement until I get home. I try so hard to concentrate sometimes, my schoolwork and everything, and it's like really noisy and stuff. So I wait until he gets downstairs so I could go, cause like it's scary. Yeah, not, not, not the best place to be in. And the ideal basement for, for, I think for us, is a combination, multi-purpose room. Uh, man cave. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah with girls all around. I want my own space too, watch some games, right? I want the biggest TV that they can fit down there. I want speakers so I can blast the music. And uh, if you can get a keg down there, that'll be great, kegerator. What's a kegerator? <laughs> it's where the beer comes out. You know that magic thing that you go like that? He thinks it's gonna be a man cave, okay. All right. <laughs> Four girls against one guy. Got no tan. I'm not gonna win that one. No. It's worth a try. <laughs> Ideally, I'd like the basement to be multi-purpose, better laundry area. I just like it to be safe down there for the family. My style is comfy and cozy. My style is whatever she likes. <laughs> George, we need you. Remember, the emphasis is on the man cave. George actually came to our house. I didn't believe he was there until I hugged him. Then I knew he was real. So if you guys know who I am, you know what I'm here to do? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I'm here to rescue your house. George surprised us, and then he was going to rescue our house. Hey, Nadia, how are you? George came to our rescue. He came through the door, and I was kind of nervous. I was still shaking a little bit. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I hear the basement's a little scary. Is it scary? It's and it, and it doesn't have no color. No color? 
Well, when I'm done with it, everyone's gonna wanna be spending their time in the basement. We got a great team already lined up. What do you say you show me what we're dealing with? Come on in. All right, lead the way. I do think George has a lot of work downstairs to do because right now it's not in a good condition. It's just the basement. It's very like, it's like a dungeon. <laughs> it really is. I've seen a lot of movies and like they look like the basement from the movies. Very raw. Uh, we have exposed walls, exposed floors, exposed beams. It's creepy. You see wires everywhere. The stairs going down to the basement are super scary too. It's really not safe for anyone down there. Uh, I hate my basement. I hate that it's not done. The basement's scary. They weren't lying. It's gonna be complicated. I don't really know how we're gonna do it, but uh, we'll be able to pull it off somehow. All right, guys, I'm not kidding when I tell you this may be one of the darkest, dingiest, scariest basements I've ever encountered, but uh, I'll let you be the judge. Oh my goodness. Wow. This place looks like a bomb blew off in right, here, yeah, man. Yeah. You have the water main coming into the house, sticking Stand. straight up. Look at this. You have a little bit of an electrical <laughs> hazard. A little bit. Look at they're all just dangling everywhere. So wait, as the architect, immediately kind of what's going through your mind? When I walk down the stairs, it doesn't look very sturdy. So we definitely should replace the staircase. On a design front, to my what are you seeing? Well, we have a small place, so whatever furniture we bring in has to be functional and comfortable. The TV in it could be here. It's got to be a big TV. It. He's the only man in the house, Andy, right? So, I mean, he's, he's, he's got a wife and two beautiful <laughs> daughters, and he's the only dude. Where does he watch the game? The biggest challenge I see here is the ceiling height. We're in a basement. Can't go up any higher. So we're going to have to go down. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Coldwell Banker, where home begins. Stan wants to dig out the entire basement. We're actually going to go down 16 inches, take out all the dirt, all the cement, all the rock, get out jackhammers. and Get out jackhammers, get some shovels. I think it's a challenge, but I think we could certainly accomplish it. I hope we can make it happen. Stan's got some lofty goals, and I love that, but uh, I think we might be biting off a little bit more than we can chew. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna find under here, but I'm willing to find out, are you? Yeah, Indiana Jones is my middle name. It's a long middle name, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm into. It's all right! <laughs> Stan, I don't know if you're into uh, breathing in all of this disgustingness. I personally am not, so uh, if you want, you might want to go grab one of those 3M respirators. I will, I will indeed. I'm ready to go. Now that I saw all the grossness that's underneath the, that floor, I think I need the, uh, the P100. Uh -huh. You know what you need now? You need your pickaxe, man. This was from the 19 or 1849 gold rush. Stop it. Yep. Grandfather. <laughs> is that the story you told yourself or is that a real story? That's the story I made up when I found it in my garage and used some tape to put it back together. <laughs> Fear to my great great grandfather who forged the metal for this pickaxe runs through it. Okay, well, let's see. But if once it starts it. going, it starts going. Oh, yeah? You yeah, may because... want to, you know, I don't even know if we're going to need the jackhammer. <laughs> now I'm ready to search for gold. <laughs> All right, I need a break. <laughs> so today we're digging down 16 inches into the basement and we're ripping everything out. Dirt, rocks, cement, crazy things. I don't know what that is. Got an old pair of trousers. Yeah, those, those are not your size, nor they're not for going out. So we're finding pipes, disconnected, thankfully. Oh, wait, is it? There we go. Oh, there we go. Another pipe that goes to nowhere. The drama is over. I have been using the jackhammer, I've been using my pickaxe, I've been using my sledgehammer, I've been using the shovel, I've been using the guns. So how do you get all this dirt, rock, and concrete out of a basement in Queens? You gotta go with the old bucket brigade. You used to use it for fighting fires. We're using it to empty the basement. And heave -ho. So we got one last thing to get out of this basement, and that's the boiler. 
when the floor is all poured, we'll bring it back in and hook it all back up. I want to say at least 500 pounds or more. Oh, I was expecting a lot more. If only 500, just here. But <laughs> take a load off, Stan. <laughs> Who's in? Raise your hand if you're in. Why is nobody raising their hand? I don't even know where to lift. Just lift. Gustavo! The door! Put him up, right? All right, let's go. Ooh. All right, boiler's out. You know, Stan, you can really tell with the staircase here just how far down we dug. Big difference, huh? Oh, such a big difference. I mean, well worth it. It really feels like a room, not like a cellar. Very busy day. We have rental radiators coming, we have USAI lighting coming, we have Mitsubishi with the HVAC units coming, but right now, we have GC Warehouse with all the building supplies. What's up guys, how's it going? How you doing? This Didn't mean it. to keep you waiting, we just had to dig out a quick basement. But now it's dug out, we're ready uh, to rebuild. What do you think, babe? Am I getting a man cave? Huh, maybe. I hope so, George. I bet the basement's gonna look a lot different and a lot better than it was before. And it's not gonna be scary. Hey guys, it smells like we still have an open sewer line in here. You smell it? Oh so, yeah, We does. patched everything up, but... I, I mean, I know there were some issues. Did our house burn down? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, why don't you just crawl a little bit farther in there? <laughs> okay. I was kidding, but if you go, go, hey. What are, you, what are you seeing in there, Stan? I see waste vents that aren't connected, that are venting in this area. The sewage vent led into the house instead of outside. That's scary. How do we go about fixing this? This is a bad situation, man. Well, that's the smell we're smelling, so we, we definitely need to address it and replace all that piping. That's gotta come out. So you mean all this has to come out? That's gotta come out. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information about 3M products or to find a retailer near you, go to 3M.com. We knew when we started this basement, it was going to be a challenge, but it really turned out to be a mechanical nightmare. You smell it? We got some serious plumbing issues in that house. There are four vent pipes which are supposed to vent out and they are all venting into the house. How do we go about fixing this? Uh, I think the best thing to do is just to replace all of that piping and, uh, and get it out of the house. I don't mind volunteering. I'll go. You're in. Yeah. I have no Thank problem. You. We're not volunteering. Thank you. <laughs> Taking one for the team. Thanks, man. Well, I'm just going to put the suit on just in case I need to go on a rescue mission to get you out of the hole. All right, there you are. Rotten wood. We got it all ripped out and we got it rebuilt the right way and uh, the family's gonna be better off because of it. We, we appreciate everybody that's involved in this project. I can't wait to see what you guys did. Ziara's all she talks about is doing laundry. <laughs> she can't wait to get down there. <laughs> right. So Mario, it's, it's hot out right now. That house, no air conditioning. How are we gonna fix that? Well, what we're doing is we're putting in uh, two Mitsubishi split systems, uh, three zones for each condensing unit. Right. Um, we have two condensing units going up on the roof. Now these babies, they're not, they're not light. So uh, rather than hiking them up all the stairs, out the window, up the ladder, onto the roof, we got this guy right here. Stanley, it's coming to you, buddy. Finally, some air conditioning. It's getting hot up here. We're gonna spread the air throughout the house with six different uh, air handlers. Throughout that, so not just the basement, we're going all three floors. They're gonna have air conditioning and heating. Yep. Got it. Stan, I am just flabbergasted at the amount of work we have done on this house. So we redid basically the electric, the plumbing, the HVAC, you name it, we redid we did. the HVAC. There wasn't HVAC <laughs> exactly. until just now. Seriously, from the ground to the roof, we have tackled everything. The sooner Mario gets these things hooked up, I think the cooler off we'll, we'll all be. Hey, Stanley. I know this is gonna be a newsflash, you probably should sit down, but um, this 
is not the basement, just for the record. Well, I know you know that, but uh... you gotta see beyond the materials. You know, you gotta have your vision. House is a mess, man. You get nervous? Well, I just fear that maybe we bit off a little bit more than we can chew. We have. We hit a lot of unexpected uh, situations that we needed to fix. When you take on responsibility, uh, you gotta follow through with it. To complete this project, it's gonna take all the king's horses and all of their men. More just maybe the men. Admitting <laughs> We're that, in deep, man. that you're in deep is really usually <laughs> half the battle. The optimist would say, don't worry about it. We're gonna get it done on time. The pessimist would say, there is no way on earth we're gonna get it on time. And I'm just gonna say, wait and see. I have no idea. RK stairs. They're finally here. They're here in this box right here. Wow, this is truly a staircase in a kit. It's actually meant to be a DIY project. I'm ready to rock and roll. This is the first riser. This gets mounted first, yep. and then the rest should fall right into the place. Once we get all the risers in place, then we'll start putting in Wood our treads. beechwood yes. treads. Correct. Perfect. Yes, perfect, perfect. So to add to uh, the confusion, we are now expecting all of our furniture to arrive. We have an unfinished, very dirty and dusty construction site, and we have brand new furniture. We got all of our Lazzoni furniture here. Where am I going with this? All right, can I get a chair down there, or is there still too much plywood? I mean, this is my favorite part. I like watching it all go away. It means progress is happening, you know? These are the last bags. Now that we got this place cleaned up, we can start putting it back together. We have all of our furniture literally sitting on the curb. Where's it all going, just so we uh, don't have to get in here and you know play a game of Tetris? Well, this is a play area for the kids. OK. We have funky, functional, amazing, colorful furniture coming. It's perfect for the small spaces. Color is amazing. This is going to be great, as just as the family, as the kids get older, for sleepovers. So here we are. I'm just hanging out, I'm watching TV. And you literally lift up, hold down. Oh, I need this after doing yeah. this rescue. Oh, don't mind me if I start sawing logs. So this is for the little girls. Exactly. They're going to love that. Yes, yes. Family area, what are we putting? Which of the pieces of furniture out there are going over here? Well, we have wonderful functional L-shaped sofa, which will be right here in the center. All right. Yep, we got it. Perfect. Oh. All's well. All's well. That's it. <laughs> TV units will be right here. Kids, family, entertainment. Yeah. All right, you guys, look at this. Teamwork. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Way to go. That should do it. This is for the desk, right? Yeah, it's really so That goes the far corner, corner over yeah. there. We have a little workstation for the teenager. Yep. She will be, you know, studying there. And then we have laundry room in the back. Study area, family area, kid area. Yeah. Boom. Finito. Entertainment area. Yeah. Check, 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 check. Done. <laughs> and for all those people who said we could not complete this project in time, boom. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I cannot wait to bring the family into that basement. It's going to be a one heck of a transformation and a really fun reveal. High five. Say high five. five. I'm yeah. excited to see you guys. I know it's been a long time, but uh, we got a little crazy here. We finished that basement for you. You guys want to see? Yes, yeah. we All right, follow me. Feel that? See that? That's, it. That's air conditioning. That's wow. air conditioning. Every room, every floor. Oh, my goodness. Head on downstairs. Oh. 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 Forget upstairs. This is so nice. I love it. This is mine. You know, the idea was to make it a study space, but with that huge TV <laughs> that I have there, I don't think a lot of studying is going to be done. She can study, and then you can watch TV. OK, I'll supervise. All right. Yes. Not that you got that corner. Oh, look at there. the N right there. Look, N. We need an A. N. It's, actually, it's actually a Z. No, no, no. Get out, get out, get out. That's your homework uh, cubicle right there. It's going to be her command center right here. Oh, exactly. this is so cool. Look, Olivia. Mina! Look, Catherine! 
You know, I think the space was really thought out. Oh, you want to dry goodness. <laughs> Laundry for me. Right. <laughs> T big screen TV for me. Yeah, um, a space for Nati and, and Olivia's space. She loves it and Catherine is super happy. The basement is beautiful. George did a good job. And what you guys can't see is that up here in the ceiling and behind these walls, all new plumbing, all new electric. Whoa! Everything is brand spanking new. You know, the finished product is amazing, but all the man hours and, and that these guys did and, and sacrificed from being at their family to give our family this space, I mean, it means a lot to us. Yeah. I just feel good having my family here in a safe space. Nothing that was accomplished in this basement or in this entire house would have been possible without the people that stand here before you. We want to thank everybody. You guys did an amazing job. We really feel it. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. You made me cry. Oh. <laughs> when Ziara's not around, this is all mine. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna tell all my guys, this is my man cave. Oh my. Disregard the crayons over there. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah. Exactly what I wanted sure. to do. <laughs> okay. It's my basement now.